Hey guys, Zot here, and welcome to this walkthrough. Today, we're going to be looking at how a Destruction Warlock can shut down Rogue Mage X and still create insane pressure. Today, we're going to be watching a game where Aratros, one of Europe's top Destruction Warlocks, is up against an RMP. However, all of the information in this video can be put to use against any variation of Rogue Mage. Destruction Warlock is so good against Rogue Mage because of one main reason, and that's their ability to shut down the enemy's setups. Destro has a vast amount of tools to instantly stop a setups in its tracks. For instance, you have Mortal Coil with Havoc, Shadow Fury, Spell Lock, Infernal Stun, and of course, Fear. Not to mention, if the RMP stay out too long, the counter pressure a Destruction Warlock can deal can easily force them to have to play defensive. So, before we get into the video, let's take a look at the key points we should be looking out for. Number 1. Peel Enemy Setups Peeling the setup whilst the RMP is going can reduce all of the damage and help your team survive. Number 2. Counter Pressure Looking to counter pressure during the enemy setups can help you both survive and create pressure for your team. Number 3. Stop Important Crowd Control Counterspell is going to play a very important role in staying alive, as stopping a vital polymorph will keep your healer out of crowd control. Okay, let's get into the game. As mentioned, we're going to be watching from Aratros's point of view, and he's going to be playing Destruction, Elemental, Holy Paladin, up against an RMP. So, from the get-go, the RMP is going to be looking to open hard. They do so with a blind onto the Holy Paladin, whilst looking to kill the Elemental Shaman. Aratros instantly goes into pill mode. He fears the mage and then gets put into a cheap shot. As this is blind and the enemy team is looking to force a lot of cooldowns here, he trinkets the cheap shot and instantly uses his infernal. Dropping your infernal early during one of the setups is great for three reasons. Firstly, it will of course stun them and stop them dealing pressure. Secondly, it will help create counter pressure as the enemy is unlikely to run away whilst they're doing their own offensive setup. And thirdly, as Infernal is often your win condition of destruction, it will help get this ability on cooldown so you have it back for later in the game when dampening is high. After the Infernal stun, Aratros Havoc coils both of the DPS. Now, this is one of the most vital parts of the game for RMP. It's the opener and it's their blind setup. They've managed to force absolutely no cooldowns from Aratros and his team, all thanks to the pills coming out of the Destruction Warlock. Now that the setup is over and they've survived, Aratros looks to counter pressure, securing a fear onto the priest, into a repentance hammer of justice from his holy paladin. And as Inferno is still up, the passive damage coming from him and his elemental is enough to force block out of the mage. Shortly after the mage comes out of the block, the enemy once again look to do a setup onto the shaman, with a polymorph onto Aratros's paladin. Watch again as he single-handedly peels yet again, swapping from a defensive play to de playing full defensive, as he's forced to block and the enemy team has recovered. Aratros calls both the DPS and then spams fear onto both of them completely shutting down both the re-polymorph from the mage as well as the rogue's damage, allowing his team to yet again survive thanks to his pills. Shortly after, the enemy once again looks to do a setup, but Aratros not being in crowd control yet again just coils both the DPS and begins to spam fear. This single-handedly shuts down almost every setup from the RMP throughout the game, allowing his shaman to barely survive thanks to his pills. Now that they've once again recovered from the Rogue Mage's setup, and Aratros is sure his Shaman is fine, he instead looks to fear the Priest. Managed to land a fear into Hammer of Justice, into Repentance from his Paladin once again. Forcing the Pain Suppression onto the Rogue this time. So, as you can see, it's almost a turn-based arena game. As the Destruction Lock, you look to peel a setup, and then afterwards look to land CC yourself and counter pressure. Remember when I mentioned using Infernal early is important? Well, this is why. When Aratros and his team have no defensive cooldowns left and the game starts to look quite grim, he manages to have his Infernal back up. As well as his Shadow Fury and Coil once again. Completely shutting down the enemy's setup, 
and forcing them to play defensive around his infernal, allowing his team to get important defensive cooldowns back. Also, thanks to the pressure of Infernal and some crowd control onto the Priest, they are able to force the Mage's second and final Ice Block. Stopping important crowd control also plays a very important role in peeling for you and your team, and staying alive. Take a look here, the RMP has had enough of Aratros' peels and decide to swap onto him with a fear onto his Paladin, in which the Mage looks to cast a Polymorph. With the Paladin still being inside of a fear, he has no way of line of sight in the Polymorph. So Aratros opts to use his Spell Lock, so the Paladin is able to get back to the pillar and line of sight, enabling them to survive. A mistake you can often make is kicking healers or just stopping random damage. Spell Lock is one of your most important tools, and you should think every time before you look to Spell Lock something. For instance, there is no point stopping a Frostbolt when your whole team is full health. Same for locking enemy healers, if you don't have pressure, there is no point. Instead, look to interrupt important crowd control or damaging abilities that would help your team survive. With the game dragging out for so long, and Aratros and his team managing to continuously play defensive and shut down the enemy setups, they've now reached a point in dampening where all of the consistent damage they're going to be doing is going to take its toll, and with the Dispriest not being able to heal, they are finally on the back foot, and the tables have turned. Aratros is finally able to play offensive, doing his first offensive coil of the game, interferes on the priest. With Infernal coming up, the enemy team is beginning to crumble. They land one Chaos Bolt and then the game is over. So, back to our key points. The phrase, play not to lose, can never be more correct than in this matchup. It's a game of turns. You want to play as defensive as possible, not using anything offensive until you know for sure that you'll be landing the kill. In this game, Aratros did his first offensive coil and stun very late into the game. Playing offensive before that would have for sure seen his team's demise. So peel the enemy setups, counter pressure during their setups, and stop important crowd control, and you'll be able to beat RMP in no time. Alright guys, that just about wraps up this walkthrough. Thanks for watching, and be sure to plus skill if you enjoyed.